Hello and welcome to AC Electronics. So in this video, we'll be seeing the MCQ questions for Zener diodes. And this MCQ question video we are doing as a mock test. First, you'll be seeing the questions, then the solutions. Okay, so this video I'm doing for the FCAT exam preparation, which is going to happen for the next month. Okay, we'll be covering all the major topics or all important subjects and we'll include the MCQ questions from all these areas. Okay, so this video, in this video, we'll be seeing the questions from Zener diodes. I've included 10 questions from the Zener diodes. So if you're preparing for FCAT exam or any competitive examination of electronics, try attending these 10 questions. And if you found the video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Now let's see the 10 questions. So this video is an MCQ video on Senna diodes. So you have already seen the 10 questions. Now we are going to see the solutions of the 10 questions. I have tried to include maximum more theory questions in this video. Because uh, we have already done 2-3 uh, videos on the Senna diode numericals. So if you are focusing on studying the numericals, please do watch that video. Okay, so here we will be discussing more concepts. So the first question is, you will be seeing the question on board. What is the level of doping in Senna diode? A. Lightly doped, B. Heavily doped, C. Moderately doped, D. No doping. So this question is asking about the level of doping of a Zener diode. So a Zener diode is heavily doped so that the breakdown voltage occur at the lower voltages. For lower applied voltages in order to have breakdown, the Zener diode is actually heavily doped. Okay, so the correct answer is option B which is heavily doped. So you should be knowing a Zena diode is a heavily doped diode. Okay. So why the heavy doping is to ensure that the breakdown is happening quickly. The second question. The depletion region of a Zena diode is dash. So question is asking about the thickness of the depletion region. A. Thick. That is the depletion region is thick. B. Normal. C. Very thin. D. Very thick. The correct answer is option C. Very thin. Okay. So, since this diode is mainly focusing on breaking down of the junction, the depletion region is actually very thin. The correct answer is option C. So, the center diode is fabricated by heavily doping of both the sides. That is both N and P sides of the junction. And the and this heavy doping results in an extremely thin depletion region. So the correct answer is C, very thin. Okay. Third question. The third question is connected to the electric field intensity. The question is the electric field required for field ionization is of what order? Okay. So in a Zener diode, very high electric field is produced for a for even a very small voltage. Okay, so for even very small applied voltage or input voltage, there is a high electric field is produced. So this electric field is actually required for the field ionization, and its order is 10 raised to 6 volt per meter the unit of electric field is volt per meter right so the electric field produced is of the order 10 raised to 6 volt per meter that is mega okay so the correct answer is option c so just know that even if we apply very small voltages a high electric field is actually produced for field ionization okay so 
correct answer is option C 10 raised to 6 volt per meters moving on to the next question which is the fourth question the question is a synap diode when biased correctly I'll read out the options a never overheats B. Has a constant voltage across it. C. Act as a fixed resistance. D. Has a constant current passing through it. Correct answer is has a constant voltage across it. Why? Because this property is making the Zener diode use as a voltage stabilizer. So the most common use of Zener diode is to, to produce a stable voltage or to use as a voltage regulator and when this diode is biased properly it will produce a constant voltage across it okay so this is the stabilized voltage or in order to stabilize a circuit voltage we actually use this zener diode okay so the correct answer is option b has a constant voltage across it b has a constant voltage across it is the correct answer for the fourth question the fifth question is fifth question which of the following is true about the resistance of a Sennar diode okay so question is connected to the resistance a it has an incremental resistance b it has a dynamic resistance c the value of the resistance is inverse inverse of the slope of IV carrier of the Sennar diode D all of the mentions all the statements are correct it has an incremental resistance it has a this resistance is dynamic in nature and also the resistance is inverse of the IV carrier yes so the correct answer is option D all the mentioned and also we have done a quick revision video on Zener diodes in which we have explained about all the important concepts of Zener diodes and in that video towards the end also I have included some uh, MCQ type of questions. So if you want to have a quick revision of the concepts of Zener diode, please to watch that video. Okay, How the Zener diode is working, what is the forward bias condition, what is the reverse bias condition, how the voltage stabilization is done. All those things I have included in the quick revision video. Okay, So please do watch that video. Then sixth question. Okay, this is sixth question. I'll remove it. Sixth question is Zener diode is designed to specifically work in which region without getting damaged? A active region, B breakdown region, C forward bias, D reverse bias. The correct answer is B breakdown region. So the other name of Zener diodes is breakdown diodes. Okay. So the Zener diode has a breakdown property or it is working properly in the breakdown region. So the Zener diode is specifically designed to operate in the breakdown region without getting damaged. Because of its characteristics, it can be used as a constant voltage device also. That is a voltage regulating device also. Okay. So correct answer here is option B which is breakdown region. So it will work properly in the breakdown region without getting damaged damage correct answer is option b seventh question is a numerical type of question there is a circuit given you can see the question on board so the seventh question what is the output voltage is the question so what all things have been given i'll draw the circuit for you there is a resistance which is a series resistance there is a zener diode a load the value of the load is 10k the value of r is 5k the value of this zener voltage that is vz is equal to 50 volt then applied voltage is 120 volt we need to find what is the v out so the v out so here we need to find the output voltage the output voltage is nothing but the voltage across the load resistance so first we will consider that there is no zener diode connected in the circuit and we will find the open circuit voltage. So just apply the voltage division rule 120 into 10k by 10k plus 5k 
and you will be getting the voltage as 80 volt is the open circuit voltage. Okay, that is 80 voltage is coming across the this branch that is 10k branch. So same as the voltage will be coming across the zener diode also. So this zener diode is getting sufficient voltage. Sorry, that is 50 volt. So the zener diode is getting sufficient voltage to undergo breakdown. What is the breakdown voltage? Vs Vz is equal to 50 volt. That is minimum 50 volt it required to undergo breakdown. So when it is undergoing breakdown, there is a constant voltage drop. Here there is sufficient voltage, 80 voltage is coming. So it will undergo breakdown and we know that due to the property of a Zener diode, when it undergoes breakdown, there will be a constant voltage drop across it which is equal to 50 volt. And it will be the same voltage coming across the low resistance also since they are connected in parallel connection. Okay, I hope it is clear. So first we have to check whether the Zener diode is getting sufficient voltage to undergo breakdown or not. So for that we will apply the voltage division and we will find the, the voltage coming across these terminals. Okay. So there is 80 voltage coming which is sufficient. So the Zener will undergo breakdown and hence the voltage across the 10k will get stabilized to 50 volt. So the correct answer is A. 50 volt is the voltage across this load resistance. So this is a voltage stabilizer circuit and the zener diode is acting as a voltage stabilizing entity or element and due to the breakdown property of the zener diode when it undergoes breakdown there is a constant voltage drop right that is nothing but Vz which is equal to 50 volt same as here also okay correct answer is option A 50 volt is the correct answer for the seventh question. Moving on to the eighth question. The eighth question is, which of the following is true about the temperature coefficient or Tc of a Zener diode? A. For a Zener voltage less than 5 volt, Tc is negative. B. For Zener voltage around 5 volt, Tc can be made 0. C. For a high voltage, for high voltages of Zener diode, Tc is positive. D. All the mentioned. Okay. So, for generally, Zener diode has positive temperature coefficient of resistance whereas normal diodes have negative temperature coefficient okay but here the statements given are for lesser voltages tc is negative less voltages than 5 volt tc is negative and also for voltage around 5 volt tc is zero for higher voltages tc is positive and d all the mentioned so the correct answer is option d all the mentioned all the answers or the all all the options are correct only okay Moving on to the ninth question. Ninth question is Zener diode can be effectively used in voltage regulator. However, these days being replaced by more efficient dash. That is generally we use uh, Zener diodes as voltage regulators. But nowadays these Zener diodes are replaced by some other element. What is that? A. Operational amplifier. No, we cannot use operational amplifier for voltage regulating purpose generally. B. MOSFET. C. Integrated circuits. D. None of the mentioned. Correct answer is option C. Nowadays we are using ICs or integrated circuits for voltage regulating purpose rather than using Zener diodes. Okay. So correct answer is option C. 10th question. The question is, a 9.1 volt Zener diode exhibits its nominal voltage to a test current of 28 milli ampere. At this current, the incremental resistance is specified as 5 ohm. Find V is at 0 of the Zener model. So what all things have been given? The test current is given. Test current is given 28 milli amperes. Then Vz is given 9.1 volt. Then R value is given which is 5 
oh which is a incremental resistance okay we need to find v is at zero okay so the equation is v is at center voltage v is at is equal to v is at zero plus the test current into the incremental resistance test current into r which is the incremental resistance test current is 28 milliampere into 5 so 28 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 5 and here we also know v is at which is 9.1 so while solving you'll get v is at 0 equal to 8.96 volt so this nr diode this is actually a center diode model we are going to apply some test current with some incremental resistance and the zener voltage will vary according to this values but first we need to find the initial zener voltage and which will get actually affected or which will get modified to produce the final final vz right so we need to find actually that value vz0 that is 8.96 and this will get increased due to the test current and the incremental resistance combination so this is actually a resistance uh, sorry zener model circuitry okay so you'll be getting vz0 as 8.96 volt so that is the question correct answer is option a okay so these are the 10 questions which i have included in this video and i have tried to include maximum theory questions uh, only two or three uh, numerical questions i have included because i have done two three other videos only with zener numericals okay so please do watch the video if you want to have a more uh, more thorough revision on the numericals or only numericals if you want to focus please do watch that video okay so i'm really hoping that you found these questions useful if yes please don't forget to give it the, the thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching